There's nothing like when your child is hurting and you can't do anything to relieve it. We brought clothes for one night. We thought we were checking in, having the surgery, and going home the next day. We had no idea what we were in for. Carson was an otherwise very healthy, athletic, 14-year-old, now 15-year-old child. But Carson's case is different, and it's very unusual, where he had actually, we think, thrown blood clots down his leg, which had really strangulated the blood flow to the lower part of his right leg. That's a very unusual scenario for a teenager. Limb loss was a real possibility. It was just like throbbing, and it was like 10,000 knives just going into my knee, and it just did not feel good. Those were the worst several days of my life. He was very weak, he lost a lot of blood, and that, that was the, the most broken stage of this game was when he was in pain, when he has a huge pain tolerance. Carson was so brave, he was in such extraordinary pain. And when I heard you know, his mom speak, it really connected to me as a mom as well, and you know, the fear she went through, the unknown. Um, and just putting your child in the trust of another. Had I not been in a setting like this with the Sacred Heart Hospital, the Studer Family Children's Hospital, I could not have taken care of Carson's case. We were, and this is very common other places in the country where we would have had to send this out. And I had pediatric subspecialists right here that could come and see Carson when I needed them to. The hematologists, the critical care doctors, the inpatient pediatricians, the pediatric cardiologist right here under one roof where we could provide tertiary university level care for Carson and his family without them leaving home. Doc Little Coy spoke to him more directly about this is what this is going to look like, this is what's going to happen. Um, he was very um, educational and very um, father-like in explaining things to a child about what was happening and what was going on. He's great, he's smart, he's funny, he's really caring because he really like, cares about me. And Dr. Coy like saved my leg and being like funny and smart and all that, like helping me through it. Like I'm very glad that Dr. Coy and Tyler and Scott was all there to lift me and help me get out of the hospital safely and keep my leg. We had to make sure he was stable enough to come home which is where he wanted to be. His birthday was coming up. He's turning 15. He wanted to get that learner's permit. And we, we made it by one day. He came home the day before his birthday. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. He's so strong. He has been so awesome to take this deck of cards of life he's been given and just play him well. He's such a trooper. To see him today, just a few months down the road, he is just so lively and bright and full of life. It is such a miracle and it's so wonderful to see the impact of his care on his life.